For the first time since the historic midterm elections, President Obama will meet with Republican leaders today. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant has the latest on that. Bill, good morning. Good morning, Harry. Well, right after the election, the president invited the leaders here on November 18th, but the newly victorious Republicans said, sorry, we're busy. The president ignored the rebuff, and he is framing today's meeting as the first step toward a new and productive relationship. The president is still smarting from an elbow to the lip at a pickup basketball game last week. Although Washington is supposed to be a town of sharp elbows, it's getting a little carried away. Today, he squares off with his biggest political rivals, John Boehner and Mitch McConnell. Top two items on the table today, extending the Bush tax cuts and ratifying the nuclear arms control treaty with Russia. Other issues include extending unemployment insurance, repealing Don't Ask, Don't Tell, and the report of a commission on ways to reduce the federal deficit. President Obama made a point of raising expectations for Republicans, who up to now have united against him. We now have a shared responsibility to deliver for the American people on the issues that define uh, not only these times, but our future. And I hope we can do that in a cooperative and serious way. But the newly empowered Republicans meeting with the president for the first time since the election seem in no Obama mood to compromise. The best health care system Boehner and McConnell wrote an op-ed in today's Washington Post, which is sure to aggravate the Democrats with language like this. Our friends across the aisle have clung for too long to the liberal wish list, including a job-killing health care law. Now we have a real chance to move away from the misplaced priorities of the past two years. Democrats in Congress are working feverishly to move legislation on everything except stopping the tax hikes and lowering spending. The White House spokesman is trying to keep expectations for today's meeting low. Probably a good idea in light of what the Republicans had to say in their op-ed in today's paper. Harry? Bill Plant, thanks so much.